For most colleges out there, students are now enjoying their summer vacations, but not at the Air Force Academy. We have very intense summer programs, airmanship programs, and now guardianship programs. We have a program now called Azimuth, and it is designed to expose cadets to somewhat of a space environment. Traditionally, space was focused uh, the science and engineering um, taught by the uh, Asher Department, which does an excellent job. And we really started developing programs working with the Commandant. One of his main aspects or goal is to help prepare our future cadets in the multi-domain warfighting environment. If you want a cadet or a midshipman to experience the life on a ship, you put them on a ship. If you want a cadet to experience life on the land domain, give them a rifle and go send them into the woods. The difficult part about the space domain is unless you're a billionaire like Jeff Bezos or uh, Elon Musk, the opportunities to go into space are very rare. And so with Azimuth, we had to design a program that could expose cadets to what we do as guardians uh, while trying to also give them a feel for what this domain feels like. Um, you know, whenever you create something new, I you know, call people, petition, and, and meet, and they said, you know, this isn't what we normally do, right? But um, it's also exciting because we're creating these, really laying the foundation for the future. NASA was really excited to work with us. The ZRG was really excited to work with us. They, the cadets, had the opportunity to fly on parabolic flights. And we understand that most are not gonna have the opportunity to actually fly in space, right? Those astronauts can be limited and that mission is owned by NASA. But all of our future guardians are gonna to have to understand that environment, whether they're developing a rocket in the business realm, whether they're a member of the intelligence team trying to learn more about it, or maybe they're conducting cyber operations. And that's why these experiences are so crucial helping develop the next generation of our guardians. The program started just as an idea. Uh, I know that a few of the Space Force officers and cadets were really uh, thinking about what they could do kind of to compete with the other summer programs, at least in the Air Force Academy. So we wanted to give a way for the Space Force to kind of have their own program where cadets could get excited and plugged in and just kind of learn a lot more about the Space Force. Uh, we've gotten to do a zero gravity flight, which was definitely the best day. Um, we've got to go into certain Space Force bases where they showed us operationally what they do and what possible career fields you would be interested in. So I've also enjoyed that as well. So it was very interesting because we don't know or like really think about how important our space systems are with like social media, banks, everything digital. And the Space Force works to protect those systems from our adversaries. I really got to see like what the actual Space Force does operationally with like what they do on the ground and how that links to like their satellites and all the control systems they work with. We're, we're doing something like anywhere from physical to classroom to visiting active duty bases and I think it's phenomenal. And uh, yesterday we actually had an opportunity to experience zero gravity and uh, it, it was not quite a good experience for me because I was uh, puking after the fifth try. I was already set on becoming a Space Force officer uh, but it, this program still served as like a great way to just prove that I still want to go Space Force and I really do not want to be a pilot. So lots of opportunities for cadets to be informed on what space is and what warfighting means uh, when we talk about it in the space domain, uh, but also uh, a lot of motivation, as you can see, either through neutral buoyancy, zero-g, or uh, rocketry. The Air Force Academy receives the highest percentage of any university in terms of commission slots for the United States Space Force. And being located physically here in Colorado Springs next to Space Operations Command Headquarters currently, um, Space Training and Readiness Command currently. And so it's an opportunity that we're providing for not only the Air Force Academy cadets, but as well as ROTC midshipmen and West Point members to come out here to see what it's all about. Uh, Azimuth is this first true guardianship program uh, that is going to create a new path for our cadets. So if cadets want to come to the Air Force Academy to fly, they have plenty of opportunity. But if there are young folks out there that have a vision of wanting to go to space or work in that space domain, we now have a path for them as well. I remember my time at the prep school and they said, uh, you know, in 10 years the Space Force is going to be a thing. Next thing you know, 2019 is already standing up. Uh, for me, it's an awesome opportunity. 
you know, you're getting to see all this cool stuff and you're getting to be a part of something that's monumental at the Air Force Academy. You know, going through Azimuth, I noticed there weren't that many females in those career fields. And I think as a future female officer, I want to be that role model to younger girls that are aspiring to do STEM careers in the military and kind of being that small percentage of women that can give them the ability to do that. It's just really exciting. You know, we're, we're trying to get these members just a, a glimpse of, you know, what's to come, get them excited. And it's amazing because right after they come back, they, they like, you know, how did it go? And I'm like, wow, it was a lot. I didn't really understand a whole lot, but it's exciting. And you know, they come back with questions, right? Hey, I want to learn more. I'm like, hey, well, you know, we did our job.